Welcome to this week's edition of The Olive Tree with me, Julia Fisher. Today I'm in Jerusalem, in the heart of the old city, talking to Roger, who is an Israeli Arab. Like the majority of Arabs who live in the old city, he describes himself as a Palestinian, as you will hear. He's 54 years old, married with six children, and to date has seven grandchildren. Born into a Catholic family, he grew up in the old city. His father died when he was only 10. And if that wasn't tough enough for a young boy, the political unrest in the old city was gathering momentum and Roger's life soon spiralled out of control. This is the story of what God is doing to transform seemingly impossible situations. Listen now as Raja tells his story. I am Arab Christian Palestinian from the old city. I am married. I have six children, four girls and two boys, and I am grandpa for five beautiful girls. And tell me about your early days and your parents. My parents? Yes. Uh, I don't know my father. He, uh, he, he died when I was 10 years old. My mother died before a few years, but uh, my mother was a very good mother that she worked hard to, to teach me and to teach my sister. I have three sisters. They are married, one in America and two is living here. And uh, we was a poor family that my mother need to work hard to, at least to keep us in the school because it was danger time that I will be in the street and I was using drugs and I, she will lose me in, in, in the situation because as a culture here, a house without father, that's me a broken family. You say you were taking drugs. At what age were you doing that? What was going on at the time? I, I doing that when I was 17 years old. Uh, I started in the beginning to use hash, hashish and grass. This is the, what we found it here in the old city. Slowly, slowly we start to grow up to find what there is more strong. And uh, I start using heroin and cocaine. And we, was this because this was the, your group of friends? You were all doing the same things? It's two things happened here in the old city. First of all, the part of the politics side and the second of the emptiness. The politics side is Israel in that time, in the 80, in the, in the end of the 70s, in the beginning of 80, Israel start looking how to destroy the Palestinian people. Same the Palestinians do with the Israeli and in the army. So this is, this is the way that we can find the drugs so easy and cheap in that time. Second, there is nothing to do in the old city. There is no place to go to play as a, as a, a basketball or anything to play or uh, there is not a good relationship with the people around. It was 70% from my age fall in drugs. It's not small number, it's big number. Why? Because emptiness, no work, politics side, it was a lot of strike, a lot of problems. So we escape to sit and to use drugs just for quietness. This is the beginning. But slowly, slowly start growing. We start, our body start ask for it. I am from. I am the first group who use heroin in the old city. So for us, as the first group, we don't know what mean pain. After to use drugs, we don't know what mean crease. We don't know it. We are the first people who test it. So this is why we fall so deep and we fall in strong drugs. You're from a Catholic or a Muslim family? No, I am Catholic, uh, Catholic Church. Uh, our house belongs for the Catholic Church. I married in Catholic way. Uh, let's say it in this way. We suffer from the church here in one point. When we came to the Lord, the church don't want us to, to read the Bible or to have the Bible. If you go to the Catholic Church here, you never find a Bible in the church. The Bible only for the priest. 
So for me, when I came to the Lord, I am the first one who came to the Lord from the Catholic Church. The Church try to 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 teach the other, don't do like Raja what he is doing. So they force me, they push me a lot. I have a lot of problem. They ask my mother to take to kick me out from the house because the house belonged to them. So I suffer from the church in the beginning. I suffer a lot through the program that they have. They don't want the people to be open eyes. So there was no help there. Your mother couldn't cope with you. Where did you end up? I don't grow up in, in a good way. I grow up in in, 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 in in difficult way, you know. The culture here is so difficult again. Like I say, house without man, that's been broken. So when my father died, I was 10 years old. When I was 17, I need to carry responsibility for my sister and for my mother. So I, I don't have a chance to go to university to study. So I finish my school and I start work because I need to protect my sister and I want to, to, to keep the house running in good way. But of course, I fall in drugs. So the money you earned, was that spent on drugs? Yes. Yes, I spent a lot of money on drugs. Did you get involved in politics as well? Uh, yes, I, 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 I have, uh, let's say, I, I was a part of the scout. And uh, this is uh, my biggest sin, that I, I teach the young boys how to prepare the bomb, how to kill the Jewish. For me, the Jewish is my biggest, biggest enemy. How involved did you get? Too deep that I teach a big group of young boys how to do bump. Did you get caught? No. No. You ended up going to Beit Nitzachon, the House of Victory, which is a drug rehab center in Haifa run by believers. How did you get to go there? Wow. I was in Beit Nitzachon on the 3rd of January 1995. I never forget this day. Because for me, it was a miracle that God opened this door. But if I want to go back, how I go there? I go there as a Palestinian from the old city who are tired using drugs, don't know where to go, need help. And uh, suddenly I found myself in a house that people speak Hebrew. I was so scaring, I was so afraid what to do here. Or I need to escape, or I need to protect myself. So I go to the kitchen, I steal a knife, and I keep it with me for two weeks. Listen, I am Arab Palestinian. To be in Jewish culture, people speak Hebrew. This is the first time that I hear Hebrew. So for me, it was amazing where I am, what I am doing here. So I, I decided to stay because I need to change. I was looking for changing, but I was so tired in the beginning from the pain. And God provided for me a Jewish man. His name is Danny. He was with me in my room, helping me, take me to make a shower, prepare for me the meal. For me, I found strange. A Jewish man who is my enemy, helping me make a meal for me and he protect me. So it was amazing for me that to see this kind of people. And then I asked myself, why I don't sit here and look what, what's going on? Maybe there is a new thing that will change my mind. And slowly, slowly I start pray, God, I need to stay here, but I want to love these people. I cannot stay if there is no love. And uh, God make a miracle, like it's written in Hezekiel, that God take my stone heart and he give me my flesh heart. After one month, I have a lot of love for the Jewish people. I lived there for one year with a peace, with love, with a good relationship with Danny till now. He is married, he has children every year. In Easter time, he come to visit me every time. When there is a feast in Jewish side, I go to visit him. We grow up as a family. My son knows his son. My daughter knows her, his daughter. And we are very good relationship and connection with the Jewish people. A 
that's an amazing story. So over that year, you could just feel and see yourself changing. Mm. And of course, Beit Nitzach on the House of Victory is a faith-based rehabilitation center. So did you did you did you rediscover your faith there as well? Listen, I was in the time when David Davis was teaching every day. David Davis have a calling, you know. Through the years, I hear many people have a calling for the Arab people coming to the old city. After one, two weeks, they escape. David Davis have a calling to put Arab and Jewish together. When there is a calling, there is a blessing. Yes, we have a lot of problem inside in the house because it was the first intifada. But the good thing that we get a good teaching. We have the good fundament from a man of God who are coming every day to make a Bible study. This is the House of Victory. For me, House of Victory is a Bible college. Teaching every day, every day, going to prayer meeting. In that time, it was not KLA and SFIA like now. It was nothing. The prayer meeting was in the house. Saturday, they make prayer meeting in the house. Wednesday, he opened the house for the people to come to pray. Every morning, there is a Bible study. So we, we, we let's say in this way that David Davis built our faith in a good fundament with the Word of God. You've been listening to Roger, a man whose heart has been changed so that he's now not only helping people caught in addiction, he's also able to love and respect Jewish people. The Olive Tree Reconciliation Fund is a Christian charity based in the UK that supports the needs of both Jewish believers and Arab or Palestinian Christians living in Israel and the wider Middle East. If you'd like to know more about our work through our bi-monthly newsletter, including news about our upcoming tours, please either visit our website www.olivetreefund.org or write to me, Julia Fisher, OT. RF PO Box 402 Billingshurst RH 14 4BQ in the UK. Meanwhile, join me at the same time next week for another story from the olive tree. Until then, goodbye.